What in the world is that? I hear you all asking in unison. This is the brand new Husqvarna Automower 305 just been released. We're going to have a quick look at the mower itself and some of the new features Husqvarna have implemented in this. Some of them are quite nice. So let's have a quick look what we're up against. Okay, here's a quick look at the all new Automower 305. Just new on the market now. Very nice little machine this one. There's uh, a lot of new things on here which aren't on the other auto mowers. Let's just open this hatch here. The on and off switch just here. And, and there we go. Height adjustment is the normal dial here, familiar on all the three series machines. What I did notice on this one, I'll have to show a little bit later, is there's no micro switch on the stop anymore. It's uh, a magnet, which is very nice. So now I'm going to turn it around and we get up to dismantle it, have a quick look what it's all about. Actually, before I start dismantling it, I'm going to uh, show how to connect it up to the Automower Connect app on your telephone via Bluetooth, which is standard on these mowers. Okay, here's the app for the 435X. I thought I'd show very quickly the statistics on this one. It's got a couple of features which aren't found on the other mowers yet, but I hope it will come some time. Here we've got uh, mowing hours as usual, distance traveled, number of charging cycles, how many hours it's been on charging but the new one on this one is collisions i've got 65,000 collisions on this uh, 435 and how many hours the blades have been running and this is a nice little counter which you can actually reset every time you change the blades so that was a nice little touch i thought but uh, let's go back to here i'm going to add a mower i'm going to choose the 305 and I haven't got connect in this just yet so we we'll connect via Bluetooth this is called the connect at home instead of Automower connect so I'm going to choose without Automower connect module the mowers come up here Nemo press on that and then we're connected just type in my temporary pin code here there's the name Nemo now I can go to mower details, statistics. So this has run for a total of one hour today. It's traveled two kilometers, been charged twice, and a total of one hour charging so far. So that's the Bluetooth um, interface for the Automower, no, not Connect at Home app, it's called, not Automower Connect. Alrighty, let's have some fun. Before I dismantle everything here, we're going to turn the mower off at the power switch here. Mower is shutting down, good news. Close the hatch and spin it upside down. Remove the power cable. Turn this around here. Remove the power cable. I always put a little blanking plug on here to stop any grass getting inside while we're working on it. And then disconnect the cable. At this point I can show the wheels. These are modular and they're quick release just like that. There was one and there's the other and they just snap in again. These are replaced as entire units, there's no maintenance on these. Let's have a look at the height adjustment here. So there's a, a knob here. Just move the entire cutting deck up and down to the desired height. Top cover, pull on the back, both sides. And that's the cover off. So, 
just inside here is the tool we need to remove this top chassis part. So just squeeze here, squeeze it out with a small screwdriver. Now starting on the front, just click it in. Take the back one. And that's the cover removed. You can just go ahead and put that tool back in the holder just here. And I spoke before about uh, no micro switch. Just inside here is a little magnet that acts, lets you know if the stop button's been pressed. So that's a nice little feature, I like that. Uh, quite a few parts of this are modular. The rear mounting posts are easily removed just like that. Put them back in again. So now I'm going to go ahead and remove the 14, oh, take off the, uh, the height adjustment knob here, put that to the side, and remove 14 screws on the chassis. Those are the 14 screws removed. I've already gone ahead and uh, removed the guaranteed sticker there. So lift this carefully up and then disconnect the cord between the main board and the display board. And there we have the inside of the new 305. Here's the chassis seal. All of these seals are single use, so get rid of that. And here's the seal for the cutting tower. Take that out and get rid of that. So you've got your battery unit here, two wheel motors, your main board. Um, I don't know if you can see here, we've got a, a big weight behind the main circuit board. Turn it around here, maybe. A big weight in here, which is really nice because it gives extra traction on the back wheels. Now on this one, I'm going to insert uh, Automobile Connect. I've demonstrated the Bluetooth pairing, so I'm going to be using the full version of Automobile Connect. So I'll go and get that now, and we'll put that in. Okay, so this is the Dash 07 Connect board. It's the latest version for the European market. If I'm not mistaken, it's Dash 11 for the US market. This is 2G and 3G. The US and Canadian markets and Australia and New Zealand are 2G and 4G, if I'm not mistaken. All right, let's have a look, see what's in here. Here we have the actual connect board. A short wire, which you don't need for this one. A long while we do need some screws, a sticker, and some instructions. We don't need those either. Let's get rid of those. Right, let's put the board in here first. Only touch the edges, of course, on these uh, circuit boards. Now, Connect is inserted here in the lower chassis on this model here. Get our screws. Now for this one we need two silver screws and a washer. So the washer goes over here.
only one newton meter on these, so be very careful. There we go. Now we take this long band, just that one end here on the connect board. Here's the uh, electronic SIM card in the middle here. But if you prefer, you can put your own SIM card in here. Now the other end of that long cable we've put in here on the um, display board. Well, before I do that, something is very important which we shouldn't forget. Uh, new seals. So here's the chassis seal. New one, put that in there. And then we've got the seal for the cutting towel that goes here. Let and lock that in place there. Now we're ready to put the two halves together. Connect the connect wire to the display board here. And then connect the screen card to the main card and put everything carefully back together again. A little bracket under there to put the wire under. There we go, everything looks good. So we're going to take our 14 chassis screws. And we always start by winding them backwards till you feel that they actually um, connect with the existing threads so you don't make new threads in the plastic. Very important in this part. Now to tighten them. Now before everyone starts commenting about using power tools on these screws, um, these are supposed to be tightened to 1.8 newton meters. And I think you can see here on the, if I can focus somehow, where is it? Oh, never mind. This is 1.8 Newton meters, there we go. Oh, I nearly had it. We can t turn it, click it immediately, and we can loosen without clicking. So these are all being tightened to exactly 1.8 Newton meters. Now I just continue here. And then a final check that I haven't missed any. 14 screws. One.
13 and 14. Nice. Now, before we can use Connect, we're going to have to update this on the computer. But let's put this back together again now. Uh, because I'm a bit of a nerd, this is the original uh, height gauge to come with it, the height wheel. But I'm going to put a snazzy height wheel from a 315X in here. Just like that. And then we're going to put the cover back on. This just clicks into place like that. Don't forget to connect the power cable again here. Remove the blanking plug. And put that in there and make sure that the groove is correctly seated all the way around. And that nice and tight. But this here, because I am like I am, we're not going to use this again. Instead, we can use this nice fancy orange colour. Just clicks into place like that. Get rid of it. Okay, so now it's time to connect up to the computer. This is why only dealers can install the connect boards. So let's turn on the mower. Here it comes up, USB connection. Check in the software. So my clock's all messed up. That's right, and update the firmware. And Tracker is the Ultimo Connect board we put in. So it's the only update available at the moment for the E305. And there we go, everything's finished. Go back to the home tab, get rid of all the documents there, and everything's just as it should be. Get rid of this, and disconnect the mower from the computer. Okay, now we're going to pair this mower up to the app with Automower Connect this time instead of Connect at Home. So the first thing we do, we go to add a mower. We choose the top row here, the 305. Before we chose the one in the middle here without auto mower connect module. That means we're connecting with Bluetooth through something called connect at home. This time we're gonna choose the bottom row with auto mower connect module. Now it's asking for a pairings code here. Now we have to go back into the mower again here. We go to menu, accessories, automower connect. Now we need the pin code again. Okay, to use automower connect. Okay, once more to agree to something which I've never actually read, so I don't know what I'm agreeing to. Now before we go down here to pairing and a new pairing, we have to go all the way back to the main screen first. Now we've got these uh, signal bars come up with an X over them. The X is donating that we haven't actually connected to a network at the moment. So we can't get a pairing code until that X has disappeared. It can take anything from a few seconds to four or five minutes. 
we go. There's the uh, X has disappeared. We're connected to the network now. Now we can go back into menu again. Accessories. Automata connect. Put in your pin code. Now go down to pairing. A new pairing. And here's the pairings code I need. So now I can go over to here. And I'll type in the pairings code. Next. Oops, let's go over a look here. 390. And this mode is going to be called Nemo. Done. And there we have it. Now I can go to the map. And obviously I don't have any GPS coordinates in the workshop, but now I've got full GPS tracking on the mower. A couple of other features on this new 305, which is quite nice, if you go into the menu here, and we go down to settings, come down the list here, and you've got frost guard. Enable frost guard. This prevents the mower from operating if the outside temperature drops below five degrees Celsius. So that's pretty cool. Oh, I won't be using that because now I've got Ultimo Connect installed. I'll be using my personal weather station with IFTTT to control the temperatures. So that was one new function. I can also go here into accessories. Another function is the terrain kit and enable terrain kit. What's special about this mower, there are no collision sensors. It uses the resistance in the wheel motors to detect a collision. And the terrain kit enabling in here actually compensates the extra weight of the wheels. So that's what the terrain kit does here on this part. But I haven't got terrain kit, so I'm gonna take that off. And the last function here is something called systematic cutting of passages. And I find that under installation, lawn coverage, input area one. And when we go to more, we have passage mowing and enable passage mowing. So this does, uh, instead of random movements in a passage, actually cuts systematically right through the passage. So that's a nice little function there as well. All right, I think that just about covers everything on this first look. Hold in the power switch. And the mower's shutting down.